Hello, my name is Dr. Bertha Ayi and I'm an infectious disease specialist. I've been an infectious disease specialist for over 17 years and I want to give you a brief update on monkeypox, the disease that has been in the news. I'm going to tell you about the symptoms, about how to recognize it, how to protect yourself and how not to be alarmed. Monkeypox disease is caused by the monkeypox virus, which belongs to the genus Orthopox viruses and the family Poxviridae. The Orthopox viruses include smallpox and cowpox, and so the good thing is that vaccines and medications against smallpox can also work against monkeypox. It characteristically has an incubation period of about three weeks, meaning if someone gets infected, it might take about three weeks before they actually start showing symptoms. Symptoms include a fever, a headache, cough, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, and a rash. Sometimes it can be confused with chicken pox, meaning it looks like vesicles or what we call bolial vesicles. However, chicken pox does not cause enlarged lymph nodes. The rash characteristically starts in the mouth, it goes to the face, the trunk, or the rest of your body, then the arms and legs can even affect the palms and soles of the feet. The rash of monkeypox is typically hard, under the skin, usually starts as flat rashes that become slightly bigger and fluid-filled. Under normal circumstances, this disease is transmitted from animal to animal, and usually it can occur from animals to humans. Monkeypox is spread in three ways, through contact with body fluids of infected patients, through respiratory droplets when patients are within six feet of other people, and finally through what we call formites, inanimate objects such as clothes, beddings, or other material that have come into contact with the patient. Diagnosis is made by real-time polymerase chain reaction or PCR from body fluids found in sick and infected patients. The thing to know about monkeypox is that it was first discovered in laboratory animals back in 1958 and then in the 1970s it was known that it had crossed to cause disease in humans. It's been found in certain animals in parts of Africa but even in Africa the disease is very very rare. In the last few months, though, there's been 250 cases around the world in 18 countries, suggesting that probably in the last three to six weeks ago, it has been spreading quietly and now coming to attention. The concerning thing is, it's found in many countries, Spain, Portugal, United Kingdom, and this past week in the United States. Currently, there's one confirmed case in the United States and six cases under suspicion. So my advice is just for you to recognize the fact that there is a disease that is occurring around the world in the last few months, and it seems to be on a higher frequency compared to previous. It's not in Africa. It's all over Europe, the United Kingdom, and Canada, that you know how to recognize it, more importantly, how to protect yourself, that it's not airborne, it's not as transmissible as COVID-19, you do not need to worry about it, your risk of getting this infection is very low, but you need to arm yourself with information and know when it's occurring. There is treatment available, there's a vaccine for smallpox, that is 80, 85% efficacious um, against this monkeypox. And so some healthcare workers are going to be vaccinated if they work in high-risk conditions. There's also an immune globulin or antibody that can be given to those who may potentially be exposed. I will bring you more updates. This is Dr. Bertha Ayi. Thank you for listening. And it was a brief summary of what you need to know about monkeypox.